Hello, today I'm here with a new video and also a new series here on my channel. I talked in one of my Get Ready With Me, I think it was, I can leave it up here, um, that I'm going to start a new series. And the series is called, I think it's called The Zodiac or The Zodiacs. The Zodiac series. And it's going to be a 12 part series and it's all about the Colourpop Zodiac palette. It looks <laughs> like this. And it's 12 shade, one shade for each Zodiac sign. So I am going to do one look every month with this palette. And the look will be around the color of the month. <laughs> Did you follow? So, for instance, now it's the Capricorn. And it's this shade. So I'm going to do a makeup look with this shade in the spotlight. And I can use the other shades in the palette if I want to. But it has to be around... The shade of the month and the zodiac sign has to be the star of the makeup. So I can use other shades if I want to as well. So we are starting with the Capricorn of course because it is Capricorn right now. And in Swedish, Sweden it's called Stenbocken I think. I, <laughs> I was so interested in zodiac signs when I was younger and I know the name of them all. I know when they were and everything like that but now I mm, I know what I am and that's it. it's enough so today it's going to be all about Capricorn and this is a black shade or a dark shade with some shimmer in it and I want to do a dark smoky eye with this color and uh, yes I have used this palette and I'm going to use it more than once a month but I want I thought this maybe would be a fun idea, so it's all about the Capricorn today. I'm going to do a smoky eye with this and I think I'm going to use the Infinity Deep as well from Linda Hallberg, Linda Hallberg and use this one light year and maybe this Umbra as well, I am not sure. I did a smoky... I. I've made a makeup look with Fornax and Solar and then and that time I used Lightyear in my crease to make it not such a harsh line between the black and the rest of the eye. So I think I'll use Lightyear today and then just have Capricorn all over. Maybe I'm going to do something in my inner corners. Maybe I take this cancer or I take something else I don't know right now and now I'm going to start babble and the other videos in the series is not going to be this intro and um, I'm just going to say what sign it is and then we start but because of this is the first I wanted to tell you about the idea behind this so I was we just I just stop babbling and we just start with the makeup so I will start with this light year from the Infinity Deep palette and just put it in my crease. And I have been so afraid of doing smoky eyes. I have been afraid of black. And I have never liked black eyeshadows, but Annette from Annette's Makeup Corners, she is to keep telling me that I have to love the black eyeshadows so I do it a little bit more now so thank you Annette for making me try it so something like that just to just so it isn't too harsh of a line and if you're afraid of doing like a black smoky eye use a shade that is a little bit darker than your skin tone um, that you can have in your crease. Okay, so now we're going to the Capricorn. And I really hope that this will work. It seems pretty black. I 
got some fallouts, but that's okay. Okay, the glitter specs. They are here, but they are not. When I swatched this color, it was so much glitter, but now it's not so much, so it's just some glitter specs. So this is maybe not going to be as fun as I imagined it to be. Now it's like no glitter left at all. I don't know if you can see it, probably not, but it's no glitter. Okay, it's some glitter, but it's not what I, how I imagine it would be. And as you see, I got a lot of fallouts because I really wanted this glitter. So I thought I, I it was better if I packed it on, mm, but it's not. No, it's like all black and only black and no glitter. The glitter is down here. Okay, so this was a fail. I'm a little bit disappointed. This series isn't, did not start out as I imagine. I imagine like a super glittery lid. But I guess not. So I go back in with Lightyear from the Linda Holberg and try to soften up the edges. I really hate this when a color look in a certain way. And then when you put it on the eye, because now it is glittery, but if I want it to be And when I'm going over it, it's like the glitter specks get stuck on the brush. So don't buy this palette for the Capricorn shade because this was not what I thought it would be. But I'm going over with this light here again. On this side, and it's no glitter left at all. So this is just going to turn out as a black, smoky eye. Even though I want it to be a little bit glittery. Something like that. I look super crazy now because of all the fallouts and only a super dark black lid. Uh, but I am going to take away the fallouts, of course, I have fallouts down to here. And I am disappointed because I wanted it to be glittery as well, but this is just... It's not black black, it's like grayish black. And I look so sad. <laughs> so I'm going to take away the fallouts and then I'm going to, I'm going to do this smoky eye thing so I think I'm going to put a black underneath my eye as well but I'm going to take away the fallouts fix my base and then I will be back and we finish this look so the face is on and f um I am going to fix my under eyes and I'm going to take the same so I'm going to take the Capricorn shade and then smudge it out with other lighter shades. So I'm taking Capricorn on a really small pencil brush because I don't want too much and I really tap this off and then we will see. And then I take the light year shade and smudge it out with this Sigma E45. So something like that and then I'm going to take one Linda Halberg penna in my watch line and also in my inner corners and this is the Ori Flash. It's a gold shimmery. It's it's what I wanted this to be. <laughs> the shade. The 
Capricorn shade, but it's not, so I'm going to do it with this one. Just so I don't have anything on my... So I'm taking this in my waterline and also in here, in my inner corners, so I have some... <laughs> so it's happening something. I'm going to take this in my waterline, also put on some mascara, and then I will be back because I need to sharpen this. So I fixed that and then I will come back again. So the <laughs> lips are on. And I, first I was thinking about doing red lips, but then I was like, maybe not. So I used a new ultra satin lip from Colourpop in November and also a shine lip liquid from the body shop, Lemon Sherbet. 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 Uh, so I used this on my lips and it's a little bit sticky, I don't like this, that. So this is the Capricorn look with the Zodiac palette from Colourpop and I am a little bit disappointed in this shade because I thought it was going to be glittery and it has no glitters whatsoever. It is glitters in the pan, it is glitter when you swatch it, but when you work it out it disappears everything okay i have one little glitter speck left on each eye but everything else disappears and i'm a little bummed out but it was a good shadow but it's not what it look like in the pan and i hate it so that was all for this video i really hope you liked it and i hope you like that i'm doing a series on this one it's going to be a year long and i really hope that i can fix this so the first look and the first episode in this Zodiac series is the Capricorn look and it turned out like this. And I think I am going to do, I don't know, I want, if I'm going to review this palette, I don't know when I'm going to do it. Maybe when I think I have used all of the, most of the shadows and what I think about them. So yeah, we will see. But I really hope you liked this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!